Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome to um, an episode of Inside Out Electronics, where, when, where we are looking at some cool uh, development boards. So today we have pretty, pretty cool one, and the one I'm really excited about. This is Tiny Pico, a a, a, a ESP32 development board. Yeah, this is not like little teeny tiny one, which ha can do just like regular. A micro uh, controller duties, you know, push with modulated stuff, you know, DAC and ADC and stuff like that. This one is so much more powerful because it has USB, uh, sorry, because it has Wi Fi and Bluetooth on board. So, this is clearly a great candidate for some sort of um, uh, Internet of Things kind of project or remotely control project or sensor remote sensor project yeah this is really really cool so let's take a look what the heck closer and figure out what the heck is this so obviously it runs esp32 and that's all how it came it pushes this in adafruit as you see on a little log over here and i think for what it is it's not really expensive i'm gonna link product a link to the product down below and if you like it you can buy it and what comes with it a little gel thingy probably it's not edible but uh, always wanted to try uh, okay we have board itself we have uh, headers those are cool headers this is probably um, to mount like this and you can plug it in you know like this into something else so this is nice and regular DuPont headers so headers are cool and they come standard and here we are this is uh, this totally look like um, battery terminal so there are two battery terminals I assume they are battery terminals and yes and you can connect your battery just like this or just assume like that i guess it's that this this little duke little tiny yeah it's really tiny and i assume that's for 4.7 sort of 5 volts yeah this is great it's really great stuff i like it i'm not sure if i have such um connectors in my possession but I don't even have I think I have any batteries with this sort of connector yeah anyways so this is cool so this is our tiny Pico ESP32 development board and here we are this little it comes with this pamphlet or cheat sheet or cheat card and we can see much closer what the heck is going on here and what do we have on the other side? We have some specs. So let's talk about specs first. So it runs... Uh, um, this is 32-bit dual-core 240 MHz ESP32 Pico D4 version of the chip. It has Wi-Fi, PGN and Bluetooth Low Energy 4.2. It has 4 megabit of SPI flash. Let me zoom in a little bit more here. The wrong way, this way here is the flash chip right here and it has uh, SRAM SRAM probably inside in this little guy it has APA APA 102 RGB LED which is probably this guy it's probably the same as in other boards claiming like NeoPixel then it has 700 milliamp 3.3 low uh, dropout regulator and this is little guy over here and then we have lipo battery management hence we have a connectors right here for you know probably a few standard lipo batteries lipo and it has optimized power pass for low power battery usage whatever it means i don't know uh lower resistance who knows yeah that's something i need to figure out uh on the back to support ph and microblade GST pads on the back supports pH and microblade. Yeah, it's probably some sort of, or maybe this is the name of these connectors. I don't know. 14 GPIOs broken out. Yes, there is a whole bunch of GPIOs. 
broken out. This is cool. Too bad they didn't have this sort of castellations over here, like in some other boards, it would be amazing. You, could, you would be able just to solder this board uh, using um, uh, just the tops over here on the sides, but that's it's good enough. And breadboard, breadboard friendly, whatever it means. It means that the, probably the distance between those two pins are equivalent, uh, the multiplicative of 2.44, 2.4. Four millimeters so sorry 2.54 millimeters yeah so that's great so let's take a look on the board itself and talk about it so here is like zoomed zoomed in version of the of the board okay I'm gonna put it just right here and we're gonna talk about all this jazz so processor is right there so this here it is uh, memory this this dude chip over here that's uh, a USB controller so it's just control stuff and talks to the SP32 so here is uh, all possible modes so green as I understand that's touch it supports touch it has ADC by the way it has 12 bit ADC it has DAC and it has only 8 bit DAC so meh not so cool I thought it's gonna be better it has obviously I square C it has also I square S it has um, it runs uh, 5 let's see 3.3 volts so I think your ADC reference voltage would be 3.3 but it's funny that I found also some references that actually mentioned 5 volts uh, I, um, and voltage reference for ADC is 5 volts. So this is a bit of a confusion. There's something, something I have to like think and uh, iron out. But this guy is 3.3 volt. I think they even mentioned here. Do, do they? Well, it has 3.3 LDO. But so what's amazing about this guy? It supports really low um, slipping. Um, idle currents so it's like I think it's like 20 milliamps or something like that if I'm not mistaken if my memory serves me correctly this is amazing a uh, little LED over here uh, that's probably indica indication uh, for communication um, I think I was wrong so this is just uh, this is I'm not sure if this is this is actually SPI. This is not I. I thought it, it mm, interesting Th that SPI. I, for a second, I got confused with I I two S uh, I square S. Uh, I'm not sure, but clearly this thing has I s I square S. I'm not sure. Maybe th this particular the, the, the chip. I mean, maybe this guy doesn't have a pinouts for it. So this is potentially case because they not mentioning here anywhere I square s so yeah so this is a pinout for the LED so it has uh, data clock power and GPO one two three so technically you can unsolder this guy and use data clock power for something else uh, it has a battery connector um, Approximate, approximate battery voltage and charging state can be extracted from here, I assume? Whatever it means. Probably. Yeah. Alright, so this is a pretty cool product. What's more important, that this thing works um, with Circuit Python. It also works with a with um, Espressive IDE, and also the main, most important for me, it works with Arduino IDE. So this is quite powerful, and I'm pretty sure there is a lot, a lot of main, so many libraries which are ready for all those IDEs, including Arduino IDE. So this is amazing. So my plan is to actually do. Uh, uh, um, to make a little project where I can control something either uh, via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and this thing gonna execute my commands remotely so this is this is pretty cool for that uh, 
There's not much else I can say about it. Uh, the only, ah, yeah, it has micro USB. Um, so I think there is ex the version exists with a USB-C of this uh, uh, tiny Pico SP32 development board, but. Uh, I just happened to buy this one and um, I'm clearly excited to uh, you know dive into it because um, I really have interesting project in my mind and uh, I have to actually finish some other project before I actually start this one but hey I mean I can dream right I can dream as much as I can so so far this is a really cool thing and I would like to um, emphasize that uh, ESP32 is quite powerful and also it has ability to uh, uh, go into sleep mode it is very very low currents the only sh I'm not really sure how the wake up st uh, stuff works and things like that I have to learn that but uh, even reading the documentation it sounds very very promising so okay enough talking let's try to power this little guy up so let's zoom in a little bit closer for, um, on our test subject and just power it up. I have this micro USB cable and ta-da! And obviously it's just blinking. So this is the def default program is running. Uh, I assume it also outputs something. Try to output something through this um, USB cable uh, because hence the blinking. This is power, this is probably communication. And here is um, here is this uh, NeoPixel LED is shining in different colors. I'm super excited actually to try to use the um, uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth features. Actually, I forgot to mention about this awesome 3D antenna, which I don't know really technology behind it. I have to uh, take a look and research. Maybe I will create another video uh, when I share with you how this 3D antenna works and what it really means. But this is clearly non-conventional and they specifically emphasize that the version 2 of this board uses this 3D antenna. Yeah, super excited to start um, creating some cool projects with this so guys if you have any ideas what you can do with tiny pico or you already done some cool projects yeah please share um, you know please put the link in the bottom of like some other people probably would like to know this as well and uh, if you have any comments ideas suggestions please fire it up uh, like subscribe if you like my video and see ya in another episode of inside out electronics ciao